Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you're all enjoying the spring weather. Plenty going on at the minute, not least of all the Northern shooting show tomorrow. We've also had the local elections. Now, how does this affect shooting, I hear you ask? Well, there's no country castigated more for the sport than Wales. So let's head straight over to Rachel Evans from the Countryside Alliance to see how they've got on in the local elections. It's been really interesting and um, actually not at all what I expected what worries me about the local county elections, um, it's not a deep worry, it's just something that I'm going to have to keep um, on my toes about really and, 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 you know, let's not drop our guard, is that we've seen in England particularly a drive from Labour councillors to ban the lawful activity of the gathering of a Boxing Day or New Year's Day meet. It's important with a new intake of county councillors that they protect in, um, in rural areas the, the rural voters and the rural way of life. So if they are voting on council policies or if they are part of the creation of council policies, that they rural proof those policies, because unless we have a thriving rural economy, the whole of the economy in Wales will suffer. And the other issue that's come to the fore is the lobbying, the um, the the. Um, I'm going to say the unsuccessful lobby then of animal rebellion who have tried to make our school meals meat free. Um, for seven days of the week. They have failed. Um, we've had a letter from the minister, Jeremy Miles, who is pretty firm in that he will not ban sustainable red meat from the school menu, but they are looking at the school menus to just ensure that our children are eating sustainable, healthy food. Is this going to be an option for game to get onto the school meals menu, Rachel? We will be trying. Through British <laughs> Game Assurance, I would have thought. They've got it on the NHS menu. Thanks so much for your time, Rachel, and keep up the good work. Pleasure as ever. Thanks, Alex. Thank you. And meanwhile, those of you on Facebook, I hope you've been following Helen's way. Here she is, look, raising money for the Gamekeepers Welfare Trust, who have got quite a profile at the minute, I must say. Helen's been travelling from royal estate to royal estate using all the different forms of transport the gamekeepers have been using and meeting a great many people on her merry way. I would recommend you follow that Facebook page if you haven't done already. And for the solid YouTubers amongst us, you may have noticed that TGS has now given up gunsmithing. He's producing mostly content for other people. We knew he was working closely with the NGO anyway. And they're now moving on to America, him and Sasha together. So we'll wish those two the best of luck. For those of you that do want hardcore gun reviews and no nonsense, let me direct you to the fabulous Matthew Morgan, who I've been working very closely with from Premier Guns. He can now officially take the crown. See what I did there? There's loads of stuff coming into Premier Guns all the time, so have a look at their Facebook as well. And they've got an on-site independent gunsmith for any alterations which you may or may not need. I've been working very closely with Matthew Morgan, and although we won't be appearing together on camera anytime soon, we have have produced some cracking stuff together. Take a look at this 694 video for example. It gives an in-depth look at all the available models and a really solid evaluation. Meanwhile, if you'd like to win a 694, let me direct you to this. Remember Jackie Stewart? Yes, the famous racing driver. The Scottish Clay Target Association are organising this. Friday the 17th of June in the Scottish Borders Inn is being held in aid of Race Against Dementia. And there's going to be a down the line competition. And Sir Jackie won the Scottish Championship twice in down the line, 1959 and 1961. Many of you will be aware that is a home discipline and I should be doing everything I can to support the England down the line team this year. Just getting back to Jackie Stewart, OBE, awarded to him in 2012 for his services to shooting. Well, if you look at his Wikipedia page, you'll see that there is no mention of his shotgun achievement. He was an Olympic class shot, competed for Scotland and retired from competitive shooting at the age of 23. Wow. 